Classical Crescendo Nicolas Dallerac, 1753-1809 Early Life Nicolas Dallerac was born on June 8, 1753, in Moret, a small town in southwestern France. From a young age, he displayed a passion for music and received training in piano and violin. His talent was recognized, and he was sent to study at the Toulouse Conservatory. Musical career Begins in the late 1770s, Dallerac moved to Paris to pursue a career in music. He quickly gained recognition as a composer and began composing works for the stage. His early compositions included operas, ballets, and instrumental pieces. Dallerac's style was marked by his ability to create catchy melodies and incorporate elements of popular music into his works. Success in the opera comique genre Dallerac found great success in the genre of opera comique, a type of French opera that combined spoken dialogue with musical numbers. His opera, Lamont Statue, The Statue Lover, premiered in 1777 and became a hit, establishing his reputation as a composer. He went on to compose numerous operas comiques, including Camille and Les Deux Petits Savoyards, which enjoyed popularity during his lifetime. Collaboration with Librettists Dallerac collaborated with several librettists, including Marsolia and Sedain, to create compelling stories for his operas. His collaboration with Marsolia on the opera, Nina, or The Madness of Love, in 1786 brought him immense success. The opera's beautiful melodies and emotional depth resonated with audiences, cementing Dallerac's status as a leading composer of his time. Later Years and Legacy In the later years of his career, Dallerac continued to compose operas and other vocal works, but he faced increasing competition from composers such as Gluck and Cherubini. Despite this, his compositions remained popular, and he received numerous honors, including being appointed a member of the Legion of Honor. Dallerac's works had a lasting impact on French opera, contributing to the development of the opera comique genre. Death and Posthumous Recognition Nicolas Dallerac passed away on November 26, 1809, in Paris. Although his popularity declined in the decades following his death, his contributions to French opera were recognized in the 20th century. Today, Dallerac's operas are occasionally revived, allowing modern audiences to appreciate his melodic genius and his role in shaping the operatic landscape of his time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.